Hey, what's going on guys? It's me, Aiden, from Cartoon Apocalypse, and today I'm going to be talking about how Chloe resisted Hawk Moth. But before we get into this video, I want to explain what I've been doing with our sponsor, Amino. Amino is a great place to be a part of the Miraculous community, and they've just introduced Stories. Stories are like the videos that I make, but on a smaller scale. What's great about stories is they are a quick way to hear about theories or reviews. On top of theories and reviews, I make fun fact stories, news stories, as well as informational stories. If you want more of what I make on YouTube, then you're going to want to check out my Amino. These stories are exclusive to Amino, meaning you will not see them anywhere else. So if you want to support me and the channel, you can check out my stories by downloading the Amino app. Then at the top of the Communities tab, tap the search bar at the top and search for Cartoon Apocalypse in the Users tab. There, you can follow me and check out all of my stories. Again, if you want to support me and get extra content while doing so, go ahead and check out my Amino stories. But now, let's go ahead and talk about how Chloe resisted Hawk Moth, because this has been something that people have attempted multiple times, but after the Akuma got into their object, it was really hard for them to resist it. But here we see Chloe, she just says no, and she just immediately rejects Hawk Moth, which is really interesting for a character like Chloe. Chloe has been akumatized a lot of times, and now we're seeing that even when Hawk Moth tries to akumatize her, and when Chloe is sort of angry, she still has the power to reject it. Hawk Moth says it himself, she is unique. So, how was Chloe actually able to resist him? Now, Chloe by nature is a stubborn person. She really tries to get what she wants, and she throws a fit if she doesn't get things her way. So, that definitely could have played a factor, because she didn't want to be akumatized, so she wasn't going to let Hawkmoth akumatize her, just because that's not what she wanted. And that might just be the key, because in this episode, Chloe was wanting to be Queen Bee. She wasn't wanting to be anyone else, she just wants to be Queen Bee. And at the end of the episode, after she gives the Miraculous back to Ladybug, Ladybug says, hey, you probably won't get the Miraculous ever again. And Chloe's like, I know I will, don't you worry. So Chloe knows that she will be getting the Miraculous again, and she knows that when Ladybug needs her, she will be ready. And that's kind of what keeps Chloe going. She has this attitude like, oh, I'm kind of like the best superhero, so if they need me, then I'll be ready. And they don't need me very often because I'm like the best and they can usually handle things on their own. But you know what? If they need me, then I'm right here. So that's kind of what the mindset that she's in is. And I think that that helped to have her kind of reject Hawk Moth as well. But I definitely think that the biggest reason is because she just wants to be Queen Bee. She doesn't want to be anyone else. She wants to be herself, and that's what she's really proud of. We've seen time and time again how she is really proud of herself. She's glad that she's a part of this superhero community, and she's a little bit upset that, you know, she's probably not going to become Queen Bee again, but she knows that she will be the only Queen Bee. She doesn't know that for a fact, but she's just saying that to, you know, either keep her confidence up or to let Ladybug know, like, hey, I'm always going to be here, don't you worry. Now, we know that Chloe does get akumatized again in the finale, just based off of the finale synopsis. So something happens again to where she gets angry, probably from Lila, because Lila's been playing a big role. Lila is partly what got Chloe this angry. But my guess is Lila does something again to aggravate Chloe, and this causes her to become akumatized. So what does Chloe resisting Hawk Moth tell us about Chloe? Well, we can assume that since Chloe was determined to stay as Queen Bee and not become anyone else by being akumatized, that she really wants to be a superhero and she will put in the effort to try to become a superhero and to be a better superhero. We've seen time and time again throughout the past couple seasons that she is trying to improve. She is learning and this proves that what she is doing is helping. She is improving as a person and that's good to see if she wants to become a superhero. Now if Chloe just stayed the same and she you know, got akumatized in this episode, then I would probably say, you know, maybe Chloe needs a little bit more time, like I agree with Ladybug on she doesn't deserve the Miraculous right now, but I do think that Chloe, with what she's been doing, I think that she definitely deserves to be Queen Bee, especially after the finale, depending on, like, what she does, if she tries to resist Hawk Moth, like, what exactly goes down there? 
I think it'll all depend and I do hope that eventually, you know, the part-time Miraculous holders will get their Miraculouses full-time by the end of the season because that'd be great to see. And if Chloe did, then that would definitely introduce a new dynamic since people do know that Chloe is Queen Bee. It'll be interesting to see, like, if people try to steal it from Chloe or what goes on there because if Chloe does keep it full-time, then it would definitely be really interesting. But anyway guys, that's really going to be it for this video. If you did enjoy, you can leave a like and subscribe for more content similar to this. I just wanted to make this video talking about how Chloe is improving as a person and we are seeing that and kind of just how Chloe actually resisted Hawk Moth because it was really cool to see. But uh, yeah, that's going to be it for me and I'll talk to you guys later. Goodbye. So tacky.